So, Peter, how was uh, finally rolling out? Well, Joe, it's been, it's a long time coming. Start out in ops and then go into sales. Finally roll out, you become commissionable. You guys I don't know, know if it would be a long time coming for you. That's you kind of hit that benchmark, <laughs> you know? I've been pushing for someone here to hit that competitive edge in two months or less for that. And Peter, you did it. I did, I did. So. Uh, but, you know, those, those are long months of, you know, sales and training and ops, you know, working on someone else's book. I'm ready to, for the next challenge. You guys have been doing this for a little bit, and that's commissionable. What are some tips you guys got? Stick to it, you know, stay uh, stay loyal to your customers, do everything you can for them. I know that that has been a, uh, a large part of my success is, you know, I feel like I'm pretty good friends with my customers. You know, I know yeah. their, their daughters, their sons, and, you know, hear stories about different things. And, you know, they trust me because when I tell them I'm gonna do something, you know, I always do it. Yeah. I mean, I know Danny's got one of the biggest books in this room for sure. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Joe, you're beating me. Oh, um, you, you move more loves than I do, though, so that's that's important. There might be more influx on that. We'll see. Stay tuned. Just to back, piggyback off of you there, Joe, like just working with my cu customers cohesively day in and day out for that. Um, having those relationships just built up and that transparency to gain that trust with them. Uh, yeah, we're here to make money at the end of the day for it. But the biggest thing for me is, you know, days can get hard. Control what you can control and making your customer's life as easy as possible for that. Like, they're probably up at arms, like, losing hair over things just as much as we are for it. Uh, so, I, you know, trying to give them as much less hair loss as we can for that is probably the biggest thing for it. Um, like I said, controlling what you can control for it and just your mindset overall, I think, is the biggest thing. There are so many times where we want to flip the desk throughout the day. Something has happened for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, and... Through the training and everything like that, it was always, you know, how can I get here? How, how quickly can I get to this position? And as even with all the stress that comes with being in the commissionable phase of this, it's still, you know, it's worth it to be here, you know, versus the, the training part. I was always very excited, you know, and it was hard. It was a hard road, making cold calls, talking to a lot of people that didn't want to hear from you, but, you know, you know, being persistent and just making sure that you didn't miss any, you know, turned over every uh, every brick and made sure you uh, helped every customer you could along the way. How, how's the mindset change for you guys, you know, when you guys got into commissionable sales? So, actually, I, I think the biggest thing, even when I was in ops, I treated the business I was working on like it was my own business as well. But then once I, I hit that clock started for me, I jumped off of that business and I was like, wow, I have nothing to do. Like, I don't even have anything to own right now. Yeah. So, and that was really what like drove me to be like, I, I need like ownership of something for this, you know? And from my sense, I, I'm not sure what you can speak to, to what drove you to be, you know, commissionable so fast. But for me, it was, you know, just the lack of not having my twiddle in my thumbs. Yeah, I got I mean, sick of doing it for it. Not having any loads. <laughs> yeah. right, yeah. You go from work covering all this freight and then you're like, oh man, I got nothing. I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, better like, I gotta find that, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and like for me, it's just the, the mindset, mindset shift was, you know, yes, I'm doing this for someone else. Now it's, this is all for me. Yeah. You know, not just for me, but, you know, it, it mattered so much more with my customers. If something was failing on our end and trying to put up that shield and be like, okay, this is happening, but like, you know, I'm going to fix it for that. It, it, the dedication in that, it just, it went through the roof for it for me. What would you say would be the biggest motivator for you to do it as fast as you did in that short amount of time? I mean, you know, I'm a little bit different, I guess. I came from, from the industry Yeah. and, you know, I, I knew what it was to talk to your customers and enjoy, you know, a successful freight business. Mm -hmm. And it's really just keeping that going, having those, like you said, the relationships, the conversations. And you know, like I said, the main goal is, you know, have fun, make money, enjoy the, the family we got here at BMAC. And it's just get that done as fast as you can so you can start enjoying, you know, the perks of being commissionable. You know, the, the struggle to get commissionable, it's a big struggle for yeah. a lot of people. It's some people, you know, it takes them much longer than most for it. Other people, we come out swinging for it. But those individuals that it'll take longer, usually once they're rolling, they are rolling yeah. for it, much like you, Joe. Yeah, and I mean, I you can know. tell you, whenever we were in the salary, you know, it is a good salary, but having a family for to take care of, uh, you know, needing to be commissionable more than more than anything, you know, that was definitely a big motivator for me. So, I mean, and then once we became commissionable, it's nice to be able to have that remote work, you yeah. know, and be able to work from home Mondays and Tuesdays for me. You know, I know you're in the same boat, so it's nice to be able to spend a little extra time with the kids, you know, be home to cook dinner 
for the wife when she gets home from work. So it's nice. That's some childcare. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so it's nice to have those perks and, um, you know, being able to work remote over the holidays when, you know, there was less of us in the office, I was able to, you know, go visit some friends and some family. So it's, just, it's definitely, uh, definitely helpful to have those benefits. Being able to take my work with me, I mean, Logistics, it doesn't stop you. Yeah. You're fine with that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's nonstop. Yeah. It's 24 7, basically. Um, I mean, I've had drivers where it's three in the morning, I'm checking up, like, hey, we're still on pace for it. You know, so, and just being able to take my work with me and know that I can visit family that, you know, I haven't been able to do that much in many years. You know, and to take that time away, and my cousins are getting married now, so it's nice to be a part of my family that I've yeah. been missing for a while. It's that sort of freedom, I think, yeah. and you know, it's your own business. Yeah, you gotta treat it as such. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's you work hard, and you get kind of reap those rewards of yeah. you know, kind of your own schedule. I work with a lot of people in the Midwest, so they're usually an hour behind us. So that helps me out in the mornings when I gotta get the boys ready for when the sitter comes in. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I may not be here exactly eight o'clock, but it's nice that I can have that time, especially with my customers, because they're not starting either, you know, to, to be able to, to help with the kids. Now for you, once you start working a little bit more, what flexibility is that going to give you, Peter? Oh, I mean, right. like you said, visiting family and just, you know, I have family all, all over the West Coast, but also, yeah. uh, you know, just out here, you know, we're, we're starting our own family at some point, and it's just going to be nice to, you know, be able to take the kids to school and pick them up and, you know, take the, the dogs out for lunch and all that so the biggest thing about this year is if you're not putting forward the effort you're only hurting yourself at the end of the day Absolutely. you're also hurting your customers which isn't fair to them but the biggest thing is just being able to have that support and resources yeah. along the way and you know like i said with the flexibility for that like you're really only hurting yourself yeah. you're not putting yeah, in that work just it, right it's nice to know that the harder i work the more remote i can be and the more i can you know take that flexibility and and run with it, you know, and be right. able to be able to do what I need to do, still be around my family, have my book of business, and be able to work, you know, fully remote eventually. I'm I'm excited, guys. This, yeah. I'm excited to be joining you on the commercial side of things, and you know, I'll be moving over to your guys' desks here soon. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I it's really a appreciate. Big for you. Yeah, it is. It is. We knew we knew it wouldn't take long, <laughs> Pete. We knew it wouldn't take long. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate the insight, guys. Uh, you know, it's really good catching up with you guys. And, can't wait to join you in those ranks. Absolutely.